knocked over a bottle of wine. What kind of plunk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. Wait, what did I just I get in the top left? This wine, but it's undrinkable. What? What is this? Intoxicated? Oh come on! I sniffed it. Oh come on! Am I that much of a lightweight? My lord! Good God Almighty! Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. Hmm. I think that... I don't know if... I don't think I'm going to spend any more points. Um, because I only have, like, a few left. There we go. Better to show that side. A pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. A tribute engraved on the barrel to the liberators of France. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. Right. I shall have to find its owner. Hmm. It's looking more and more like the mom is involved and the general, the French general. I wonder if they were working together. Oh, we already got the item behind the left window. Yeah. Thank you. Good call. The We, we didn't do a few options because I, I think I know what they're going to say. Like, I'm pretty sure if we do this bottle and we do this Not option, a bottle of wine. it's just going to say that there's laudanum in it, which we know. So I'm not going to spend those points. There was another one with the knife, though. Mm. I got to save my points. I got to save them. All right, let's move. Buddha Bebop says, make sure to take some laudanum with you for the road. I know, right? This game is awesome. This game is pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm having a good time with it, too. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's pull the trigger. Let's use one of these things. The handprint on the handle is really small. I can't imagine a man with a hand that size. It must be from a woman's hand. So, yeah, that wasn't worth it. It's looking like the French dude may have held her and mom may have stabbed her. So it's looking more and more like they may be in concert. Has sir finished with this room? Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has sir finished with this room? I know enough now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir so may I return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. Uh, look at the papers that we got from the Zeus guy. 
Uh, I think it was this one. Maybe? Maybe. One of these. But yeah, it was really good, whatever it was. Alright, let's go to... It said we could check out other people's rooms, but... I don't see them on the map. Ah, here we go. Yo, what's up, Washington? <clears throat> Yoink. A map of Vermont. Devil's Thorn. Beep. I'll keep it. Oh, I'm full. Oh, good. I didn't spend the point. Okay, good. Whew. One sec, bro. Just gotta search your uh, room for items I might want to take. Just chilling there for a sec, bro. Oh, good, some more uh, royal jelly. Yoink. Portrait of George Washington. In his better years, apparently. Lols. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Okay. We just read your private letters. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Decipher the letter. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. Hmm. My dear George. I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Hmm. Wait. That's not a chimney. Immersion ruined. All right, George. Let's wrap, bro. Greetings, Liam. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, not the migraines. Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry. But that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To mm. get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. 
Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. Mr. President, we found a footprint at the scene of the crime. Not a dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. No, rest assured, it looks like the print of a big ankle boot. A large size, I'd say. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. Hmm. <laughs> A raging clue. Uh, Code, does this style of game bore you at all? Uh, I mean, games like this can be boring if they're not very good. Um, but this one has been great so far. It's definitely held my interest. Yeah. Greetings, Lee. Mm, I'm gonna save those. I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Shan't. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. How big of a clue? It's a ragingly large clue. Okay, we can't go outside. Hmm. All right, let's keep moving. Relatively convinced it's not Washington, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Hey, average baronator, what's up, bud? Uh, Jay Folo, I think the note that was written was this: "Thoughts on Men in Society" by Mortimer. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what we found in the Zeus thing. Not going in there. This is Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Oh, okay. Huh, that's me. Oh, I can't go in my room. Alright. I guess I didn't do it. Good to know. Duke Manuel Godoy. Still don't know who the hell he is. Yo, dog, what's up? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Gotta yeah, check out her room for science. <clears throat> King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. <laughs> Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. That's what she said? Dear E. I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. P.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Oh man, okay. So mom didn't actually tell the other people she was coming here. Interesting. We kind of knew that though. Because Sarah told us in the uh, parlor downstairs. Ah. Uh... The artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. Hmm. A letter from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present... Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He really has indeed some powerful backers. Hey, Ozzy. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it 
that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Duchess, you can inform King George of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with financing the recruitment of regiments of emigrant royalists to fight against France. Your friend, His Eminence, Giuseppe Piaggi. Oh, dude. Wait. Two coils circle the lock. Mmm. No key. I'll wait on this one. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Whoa. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Whoa. Okay. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. All right, girl. Let's talk. What can I do for you, Louis? Hey, the I bad panda. I you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. She's immune to psychology? No, she's not. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a yeah. senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. <laughs> Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I, I didn't take much interest in her. Rude. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Hmm. I hear you were in discussions with the Holy See. Oh, either His Eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging, or you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily, you're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Oh, Lord. Um, whoop. Tell me, Emily. What's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? No, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't really matter. Look, Louis, the President and myself are working on a number of commercial contracts. Nothing overly exciting. You're lying, Emily. If these agreements come into being, they'll break Franco-American alliances for the greatest benefit of England. In order to know. Wow. I found a torn piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Gray silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. 
Good Lord, Louis, I... I do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any grey silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to check with you. I'm so sorry, Louis. Thank you. Are you all right? You know, I'm sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Thank you, Emily. We found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger, quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet, still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Keep up your courage, Louis. Okay, this is starting I'm to sure lead there's like... An explanation. Mm. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any... Seems like she's leading us a bit. I, she was with us, so I don't I don't need to do this one, I don't think. Yeah, I think she's just going to say she was with us. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Mm. Well, we know it wasn't her, because... We were um, occupied with her at the time. So we know it wasn't her, but we also know that the sister of hers is probably dead because we saw her get shot by our mother. So that really does kind of lead the mother, um, unless someone is purposely trying to frame the mother, which is another option. This could just be a giant frame job. Giggity. Crazy. We already searched this room. I'm just making absolutely sure we got everything. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. Person Gatterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. Hmm. Trying to see if there's any other clues like that, uh, chest. Oh. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. A bandit. Thank you. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Hmm. Okay. 
Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed, it is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Is but Gregory so Peru? No, he's Jacques. Okay. Uh, he's Sir Gregory. Okay. So we still don't know about this guy. Hmm. Okay. Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and yeah. Sir Gregory at guards. Did they win much? Oh la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more. He said oh la la. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Um, also, real quick, thank you for the $10 tip. Uh, I appreciate that with the camera suggestion. We have G-Trick with 100 cheer, Mr. Quailude with 100 cheer, Getty with 100 cheer, Lionel Richie with 500 cheer, Captain Krusty with 500 cheer, and Dr. Mahu with the 500 cheer, all with the charity. Thank you so much for that, my dudes. Really appreciate your support. Thank you. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. Uh. I was exhausted, <laughs> couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. That's right, Jack Black. As you can see up by the top, it says we need to investigate Letho. Um, when, there's, when there's not a, yeah, there we go. So we have to investigate my cat. Um, we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Well, have we finished, I don't think it was him. Monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Aerodas says, how do the charity bits work? Does Co only get a cut from them? No, 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 Aerodas, this is how it works. If you cheer on the channel and you put hashtag charity in your cheer, let's say you cheer a thousand, I get all 1,000 of those bits. And on top of that, Twitch then donates a portion of however much you cheer to charity. So when you're charity cheering, the streamer gets every single bit you're doing and then Twitch puts more than you cheered, like they add to your cheer and give that to charity. Yeah. Of course it works out for them because you're cheering with bits and they get a cut when you buy the bits. So, you know, it's not like, yeah, you see, you see where I'm going with this. <laughs> Makes sense for them. Oh, it's 20%? Wow, okay. Really, 20%. So if you cheer 10 bucks, they tip $5. Man. Apparently we missed an option. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Slipped through my fingers? Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. We already did that. Here we go. Were you able to recognize the prowler? Unfortunately not, no. It was dark, and Lord Mortimer was waiting for me. I was not really paying attention anyway. Excuse me for insisting, but if you saw him or her, I'm sure you would have more information than that. 
It's just that you don't think it can be of help to me. What do you mean? I don't know. Was it a woman, for instance? Bearing in mind that all the women here wear whalebone dresses, which is rather noticeable. Uh, a man, I should say. I don't recall seeing the silhouette of a dress. You see, you saw many things, in fact. Hang on. Laissez-moi réfléchir. Let me think a minute. A wig? His height? The sound of his footsteps, maybe. Ah, his height. Oui, somewhat imposing. A tall man, and straight. As for the rest, I don't know, Monsieur de Richie. Hmm. Not to worry. That's already quite a lot. Thank you for everything. So he knew how high he was and his sexual orientation. These are good things to know.